plaintiff, Carrie Guthrie, says she and the defendant were college roommates. And that's when they gave internet dating a try. Carrie claims the defendant often brought shady men back to their apartment, including one who took her to a strip club and waved a gun around on their first date. Carrie's suing her former roommate for loans. Defendant Janet Planka admits that she went on a date to a strip club with a man who waved a gun around, but insists she never saw him after that night. Janet claims there was no deadline for repayment on the loans. All right, start with you. Okay, um, Janet and I met in college, and from the day we met, we were pretty much best friends. We get along great whenever things are going well, but lately there's been a lot of tension because Janet owes me a lot of money. Um, and you she, all still live together. Yes, we and do. And she owes you a $1,000. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I love Janet, but she's not always the most responsible person. Uh, in the fall, we decided together to start internet dating. Thought it would be an adventure. And from the beginning, I urged her not to let any of these guys, you know, come to the apartment because I didn't want to get killed. And... <laughs> <laughs> or misled, for sure. <laughs> yeah, reasonable. <laughs> Um, but her first date, you know, came and picked her up at the apartment. He seemed real shady, so I took down his, <laughs> I took down his license plate number, and she's texting me throughout the date, and he takes her to a strip club in East St. Louis. Then she, he didn't force her in, right? No. And then on the drive back, he pulled out a gun. He didn't threaten her; just waved around a little. Is this true? <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't, I didn't see him again after that. <laughs> I would think not. Go ahead, what's the next story? Another internet story? I, I did a little internet dating, but I didn't let them come to the house until I was sure that they like, weren't murderers. Did you, you meet them outside yeah, the like house? Yeah, in, in like restaurants or public areas. You met them at the strip club. Right, yeah, you, they didn't take you, you met them there. <laughs> About how many, I'm just curious. Uh, I think I went out with like three guys. Okay, and none of them worked? No. What was their deal? Just... I mean, they were like creepy or really short. Or... <laughs> <laughs> but don't they have a profile or something? Or all those people are deceptive? They all lie. They all say they're taller than they are. I heard some of them put other pictures, pictures of someone yeah. other than themselves. That never happened to me, but I'm sure it does. I mean, they would put, like, guys who look like Doyle on the <laughs> picture, but then you get there and they're 400 pound. I mean, 400 pound guys, nothing necessarily wrong with them, but never had that experience. No, right. never that bad. All right. Very good. Let me um, hear from you, ma'am. Now, by the way, this $1,000, how do you all walk around each other in the apartment knowing that I'm suing you? We don't see each other that much. We have very opposite schedules. Okay. Yeah. When you have seen each other, though, in recent <laughs> weeks, knowing that you're going to sue her in court, you know this woman is suing you and she's your roommate. Do you, do you roll your eyes at her when you see her or do you say, hey? Um... Everything's I don't, cool, no I don't problem. Roll my, well, I don't know that everything's awesome, but yeah. it could definitely be worse. Yeah, it was a very recent development. Go ahead, give me your background. <laughs> uh, this is odd, to say the least. Um, yeah, so we met in college. Uh, she was dating one of my friends, and um, I actually came up for uh, Mardi Gras in St. Louis, um, and that's when we decided to be friends. So um, August 2012, um, I needed $500 for living expenses. That's when we started living together. Um, and I said I would pay her back when I got a job. And I um, was on a track scholarship at the time. So um, working was like finding a job that would like work with the hours that I had with school and track was really difficult. And then um, I ended up going home for a few months. And so when I got back, I got a job. Um, so I was a little behind like on bills and stuff. And um, then in April, I, my car broke down and she loaned me $257 um, for that and then another $250 that same month and said I could pay her when I could. So that's where we're at. In April of 13? Yeah. Ma'am, tell me about the uh, loans. Um, in the beginning, you know, I just wanted to help out my friend. I didn't want her to, you know, not have an insured car, not have gas to get around to school. Mm -hmm. And so I went ahead and loaded her the money. And then when her car broke down, I knew if she didn't have a car, she couldn't go to work, so she couldn't pay me. So I figured it would be reasonable to loan her the rest of the money. And then the last one, I mean, she's my roommate. She needed money. 
it would be kick her out and then not get any money. Hey, but the last two, she said you loaned it to her April of 2013 and told her to pay you when she could. Well, I was under the impression she would pay me um, by Memorial Day because that's when the restaurant started getting busier and she was going to have more money. After Memorial Day. And what was that discussion? I thought we were on the same page there. That we were, that did she was going to discuss gonna, it. Yes, we did. We talked about it. And, and I thought. What did she say? Did she say, I'll pay you such and such time? What did she say? But she said oh, that she would... I, You need to talk to me because I'm getting the impression you all just might want to be on TV. That's what this is about. <laughs> no. It was, it was one of those things where, like, I just, like, from not working from August until February, I was really behind on bills. And I, I got that. But I need to know, did she say, I'll pay you in a month, two months? She said, I don't know when. I need to hear something. She was supposed to be paying me along the way, but with everything paid by Memorial Day weekend. And you she, all said that? Yes. Ma'am? Yeah, we said around Memorial Day. <laughs> it, we didn't say like on Memorial Day, we said around Memorial Day, like that weekend. $1,007 that is your judgment. Have a good day. I'm okay. I'm okay, if you're okay. How are you? Will you still be my bridesmaid? Yes. <laughs>